Hey, Clarinets, welcome back. On today's video, it's Accent Book 2, page 12. On this page, in the left-hand corner, is the note C sharp. So we'll need our pinky on that C sharp key. Above and to the, up, above and to the right is the after beats, and after beats are notes that are placed after the beat, the strong part of the beat that we give the number to. It's the and, or the upbeat. Then we've got transposing. Transposing is where you write a melody beginning on a different starting pitch, and you follow the same pattern of half steps and whole steps. More about that at the bottom of the page. Key signature is our last item. All Fs and Cs should be played F sharp and C sharp throughout when you see a key signature that has two sharps. That key signature is the key of D major. Our first exercise is number 30, 34, minor, episode. This piece is in 4-4 four, four time. It's got a B flat, but also a C sharp. Be careful of those C sharps. We'll play it twice. One, two, first time go. <laughs> Our second time, one, two, ready, go. Now we're gonna move on to a traditional song called America, or God Save the Queen. It's a song that has two titles because of the two countries that use that melody. This piece has the two sharps that we talked about at the top of the page. It's got F sharps and C sharps. Our job is to remember that throughout both of the lines. One, two, three, ready, set, go. <laughs> Great. Remember, you can always pause and practice a song that needs no more work. Then rewind and review it with me one more time. That way you'll get to hear the progress you made on all the work that you did. Here comes another duet, the old brass wagon duet. This one's in 2-4 time. It uses our 4 16th note pattern. Remember the, the four-syllable word that you thought of? Mine was Mississippi for 16th notes, one E and a Mississippi. I'll play part A, you can join me, or you can play part B as I play it. We'll have a duet, or just join me for part A. Here we go, one E and a two, ready, set, go. <laughs> And part B starts on a B. Be natural. One E and a two, ready and go. <laughs> That's a fun one with all the after beats in measure two, measure four, and measure six. Did you see those after beats? Number 37 is a theme from A Midsummer, a Midsummer Night's Dream by Mendelssohn, and it's in cut time. Now, if you remember a few videos ago, I told you a tip for cut time is knowing that the values of the notes are half as long, making them twice as fast. 
So when I see the beginning of this piece as eighth notes, I think of them as 16th notes. And then the quarter notes, I think of them as eighth notes. That will mean that my speed is fast enough to be cut time. Play with me, number 37. One E and a two and one and two. One, two, ready, begin. Let's do that one a second time. One E and a two, ready, set, go. And finally, number 38, accent on theory. You'll need a pencil for this exercise because we're gonna write some music. It says, transpose the first six measures of number 35 above, that's the America God Save the Queen song, into these two keys, then play. So back in number 35, we start on the note D. Well, they want you to write that, but they want you to start the song on F. And they want you to write those notes out. And then on line two, they want you to try starting the note on G. Okay? So use your pencil and your clarinet and see if you can figure out what those notes are. And until I see you next time, keep practicing.